to another video. So today we're going to be reviewing Nick's Tommy Mackinac Edition Evo. Now Nick's car um, has been built, it is a 2.3 litre and it is set up for track so it's essentially a registered track car. I have driven this once before and I really struggled to, to begin with, it's quite difficult to get a hang of uh, but let's see if we can turn it on. Uh, it's got pretty decent cams and it's a bit cold so let's see how we go. Okay, I can't, I'm turning the ignition and nothing's happening. I think I'm going to have to call Nick to figure out how to turn his car on. Alright, we're in neutral. Alright, so it looks like Nick's warmed it up a little bit for us before we've gotten in. Otherwise, you'll be sitting here holding the revs at above 2000 RPM just to stop it from, um, oh, it's doing it a little bit. Otherwise, the cans will stall the motor. So, at the moment, um, I'm staring at a Haltech race pack. Um, dash and you can see the H2O uh, well you won't be able to see it but the H2O is sitting at about 65 um, temp so we just gotta wait for that to heat up to about 73 74 uh, and then that way when we're cruising along the cans won't stall the car all right so now we're ready to get moving um, I can hear the fuel pump whistling away um, as you guys might be able to hear in a sec when I engage the clutch it's a twin plate uh, so that gets some getting used to um, Additionally, you'll be able to hear the brakes, I'm sure. They are track spec. Um, so they're going to take a little while to warm up. Let me just try and get out of this driveway here. Alright, we're moving. Oh, no we're not, we've stalled it. This is a difficult car to get used to at first. Okay, I've got it. We're moving. We're away. Sort of. We're bunny hopping. It is very, very hard to get used to. When it's cold especially and the cams catch you off guard, if you get on the on the wrong you know, cam timing, it will just stall out on you. So getting going can be quite difficult and this is only the second time I've driven this car. The first time it took me about 15 minutes of driving it so that I could stop stalling because I just, with the twin plate clutch and with the, um, with the cams and everything, it is definitely not the easiest car to drive. Okay, there we go, we're away. Jesus Christ, we're bunny hopping. Oh my god, this thing is... I don't know if it's just me or what's going on, but this is fucking hard to drive, man. This thing is, like I said, a track car. Um, it never gets really driven on the street. Occasional weekend fangs or, uh, you know, maybe you'll take it out to a meet or something like that. But the rest of the time, it's just sitting there waiting for the next track event. So, it has to be driven slightly differently to something that's been uh, set up for the street. You really gotta wait for it to get warm. You gotta be precious with the brakes when they're cold. Um, it also has a lot of power. So this thing at the moment, I'm on low boost, which is 300 kilowatts at 25 PSI. High boost is 360 kilowatts at 31 PSI. So it is really quick once you get into it. Um, but obviously the car's still cold, I can't even 
really get into boost yet. Just waking up the neighborhood. I don't know what's louder, the exhaust or the brakes. Maybe the fuel pump. Holy shit, this thing is something else. There is something really, really different about driving a car that has been completely track focused. It is an experience and it's just fun. Even just trying to get down the road in this car is fun because it's just so much more difficult than it needs to be, you know? I hope my video here isn't too dark because there's a new camera I'm trying out today. So I apologize if there's any issues, but overall I'm hoping that it should be a better picture for you guys. So, where do I start? Um, it's an Evo. So, if any of you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm a hardcore Subaru guy. I love my STIs. If I had a choice, that's what I'd be driving right now. So, just gotta pay attention. That said, um, I have driven a few Evos in my time. I've driven a 10, a 7, an 8, a 9, and so on, right? But this is the first Evo that I've actually enjoyed driving. Um, I'm not sure what it is about this car that is so different. Maybe it's just the fact that it's so extreme, it's so out there, it's just... I, I, I'm a guy who likes driving cars that are an experience, if that makes sense. So, for instance, my, my daily at the moment is a 88 Civic, right? It's a stock automatic, whatever, but I've cut the springs and slammed it, and now it drives like shit, and it, is, and it is an experience, and I love it. This is an experience in a different way, in that it doesn't drive like shit. It is just so extreme. It's been built to the max, to the fact, or to the point where you have to be on all the time driving this car. That you can't just take it easy and just chill. I mean, obviously right now it's okay. I'm in fifth. I'm cruising at 60 k's an hour. It's not so bad, but. As soon as you want to shift, as soon as you want to pull up, as soon as you want to go, whatever, you have to switch your brain on and pay attention. It makes you do that. Oh shit, there's RBT here on the right. I've just got to use the handbrake to be quiet. Fuck. There's about eight highway patrol cars on the other side of the road, and I need to slow down, but I couldn't do it with the brakes because they'd be so loud, it'd draw their attention, and I had to clutch it. Anyway, we made it, we're safe. We can't go home this way. So, that's what I mean. This car is an experience to drive and I really, really like that. Okay, so Nick has his OMP wheel on at the moment. Uh, we bought it for him for his birthday. It feels really great in hand. It's got a good amount of concave. Um, and it's in a, it sits in a nice position. It's it's quite tight to me, which I like. I like when I'm driving cars like this, that the steering wheel is quite close. Um, and it feels good in hand. Uh, he's obviously got a um, fixed back racing seat here. What is it? It's a bride. I should have known that prior. So it's a bride seat. Um, it feels like a good seat. For me, it doesn't suit my body shape. I'm not sure what it is, but already after about 20 minutes of driving this car, I'm getting a sore lower back. I can feel it already. Looking in front of me, I've got a Haltech dash. Uh, it takes some getting used to knowing where things are. Obviously on a standard dash, you've obviously just got pretty much your revs at your speed. Here you've got your AFR, um, how your map's looking, your H2O, so your water temp, your oil pressure, all that sort of stuff. You've got your RPMs up the top. It does have the sequencing lights on the top to tell you when to shift and all that sort of thing, which is quite cool. Um, but apart from that, the interior of this car is pretty much stock, so you can see it's got the standard uh, Tommy Mac in there. Um, Ricaro seats in the front, or I guess in the passenger seat uh, as this right seat has been changed. Um, everything else inside is stock. Let's talk a little bit about the um, the ride of this car. So it's on MCA red coilovers. If you're in Australia, you know them. If you're overseas, you might know them. They're getting quite big. Um, it's on C28s with 255 Nitto semi slicks. Um, everything, like, you know, all the other suspension components are mostly standard at this point in time. Um, steering is normal Evo. It has that thing where when you turn the wheel, it sort of locks back to the center. If, um, anyone who's driven an Evo would know what I mean by that. Um, but overall, it drives really well. Um, so even though it's the 
bred to more track focus, the coilovers. On the street, it's still compliant. Um, the dampening's good. It's comfortable enough that if this was my suspension for a daily driver, I could live with it, no problem. But right, let's give it a bit of a hit here and see how she goes.